First thing you want to do, take out your spark plugs, take them all the way out. Be very careful, the threads are sensitive. You're screwing into aluminum and they're made of steel. Stand by. They're out. Look at what's happened. The top one of my plugs fell off. I'm gonna have to get something to get that out. And it's not magnetic, so you're gonna need a flexible mechanical finger. And that's the spark plug type for almost all older snowmobiles, BR90S or B8. Yes. All right, so make sure you clearly label this bottle, Mr. Yuck Gas, whatever you want. Wow, I must have pulled that over. Thanks for pulling it over so many times. So, a little squirt of gas. You know, it's all going to depend on your machine and the condition of the rings and the pistons, how well it starts. But if it doesn't at least pop when you do this, you better plug them back in there and make sure you have a spark. I'm going to get this out, so stand by. So if it doesn't start, you know, but you get it to run on one cylinder, you might put one of these in the cylinder that you can't get it to run on, and maybe it'll uh, fill in some of the scores on the cylinder wall as it melts because it's made of aluminum. So I'm glad I got that out of there. Now we're going to pull it over. You don't want to over tighten these. I'll show you a video if we get some views on this one on how to tighten those properly. I also notice there's a crack in this line, this vacuum line, that's pretty new though, the other one. So look for that stuff while you're working on your sled because if you do get it started and you take off, those little things are going to cause you problems down the line. The Yamaha 440 SS kill switch. 